Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Network Chuck. So for the CCNA or CCMP or MCSA or any other IT certification, should you self-study or should you do another method? Let's talk about that. Now, before we get started, I'm out of coffee, so I need to go find some, but some exciting things are happening soon. Can't tell you too much, but there's gonna be a giveaway from a big partner, big training partner that has amazing training, and I'll be doing some cool things with them here very soon, so stay tuned. Actually, never mind. I uh, forgot as I was checking my mail that I had a bean box coming, so. Looks like we're having the uh, Terra Sauna Blend. Okay, that's better. First of all, I've missed you guys. Been about three weeks since I made a video, so my bad, but hey, we're back. We're talking about networking, we're staying excited, we're staying motivated. Let's get some certification and let's talk about studying for your CCNA. I get a ton of questions every day. Should I self-study? What material should I use? Should I do like a classroom or should I go to a boot camp? There's a lot of options, right? Now there are really three types of uh, training you can get for IT. There's the self-study option. There's the classroom option, which can be done through like, you know, going through a college degree program or you're like taking a specific class for like the CCNA or CCMP. And then there's kind of a third option, which is kind of the same as the second option. It's the boot camp, which can kind of be like a hybrid between the classroom and the, and the uh, self-study option because, yeah, you're, you're going to a classroom situation, but you're, you're doing like a week or two week course and then it's up to you to kind of figure out the rest. But you know, let's say it's kind of a classroom. It's, but you know, it's kind of its own category because you're not really taking a, a prolonged course. You're just getting crammed full of information. So which of these options is the best? So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I personally used, use and used self-study for my certifications. And I have a really, really good reason for that. But we'll go into that here in a sec. So when you're thinking about getting into IT, or you're, you're getting your next certification, or you just wanna learn something new, there's really three things you have to consider when you're choosing your study course or material or, or degree or whatever, what have you. Um, it's your time, how much time you have available to yourself, how much time can you study, are you currently working full time, are you a student, uh, do you have a family, those things matter, right? The second thing is the money. I mean, each of these options has vastly different requirements for your wallet. Uh, do you have a, just a ton of money to blow? Is your company offering to pay for it? Which, if you're lucky enough to have that, that's amazing. Uh, but some of us might be tight on money, so we have to make a, a really, really, so we kind of have to tighten our belts with our, our, our study materials. And then there's a third thing you have to consider is kind of the X factor, and we'll go into that here in a sec. Now I want to get right into it and tell you why I think you should do self-study. I don't want to waste your time, because you should be self-studying right now. Self-study is special because it takes a, it takes a lot of discipline it takes a lot of it takes a lot of grit it takes a lot of organization and while you may be watching this and going okay i don't have any of that i went through high school and college and i i sucked at all of those skills like that's not me i think you need to learn those skills and and doing self study for ccna or any of these certifications will teach you that and i i think that's important because i'm like you i I was the guy who, if an assignment was due in a week, uh, on Monday, I was staying up at 3 a.m. on Sunday doing it. <laughs> I mean, I was last minute Larry for everything. So let me tell you a little something about IT. If you're already in IT, you probably ex have already experienced this. And if you haven't, I'm a little worried about you there. <laughs> but if you're already in an IT career, being in IT is like a constant, ongoing self-study session because you will never know it. You'll never reach that summit of, oh, I know networking or I know servers and I, I do not need to absorb any more information. No. Every day in your job, you're going to be learning something new every single day. Some days it's just like a few tips and tricks like, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's interesting. While some days your boss may hand you a project, say, hey, deploy Netscalers or hey, here, deploy F5 or hey, here, here's a new Nexus switch. Learn data center. And you have to learn that and you have to do, sometimes they'll give you training, sometimes they'll send you off to a class. My first real IT job was not like that. They said, here, we need you to do this, learn it. <laughs> We're not gonna bring in some augmented IT staff. We're not gonna send you to training. We just need you to learn and deploy it. And guys, that's IT. IT is being able to learn new things. If you are not good at learning new things or if you are just, you don't want to, 
you shouldn't be in IT. I'm sorry, that's just not what should happen. You have to love to learn new things. But since you want to get in IT, I'm assuming you already love to learn new things. I mean, why? I mean, that's that's why you're here, right? So self-study, it teaches you those valuable skills that you'll need on the job. That's why I think it's the best path. Because once you learn how to self-study and you get your CCNA, you're gonna be doing self-study on the job once you're there. That's, that's the X factor I was talking about. That's what I think is the biggest reason for self-study because that's what you'll be doing on a day-to-day -to -day, day -to -day basis. If you wanna be a great engineer, that's a vital part of it, is that self-study, that self-discipline, that organization to get in, pick a material, finding the answers, Googling around, finding some good material, and teaching yourself these things. That's so key. That's why I love these training partners like CBT Nuggets, INE. That's what's unique about IT, I think. Now, I'm sure it's it's not you know, only unique to IT. Other professions require you to on, have an ongoing education to keep teaching yourself things. But IT is different because IT is because IT is always evolving. There's always something new to play with, always something new to deploy, always some new threat coming out. I mean, security news. I mean, seriously, it's almost depressing. Our Wi-Fi is not even safe anymore. WPA2. Everyone says, oh yeah, WPA2. If you're not on WPA2, you're in trouble. Well, now no one's safe. We're, we're just at the, at the mercy of our vendors to release software updates to release us from the Kraken. Or the crack, sorry. Sorry, I got off on a tangent there, but that's why I'm a huge proponent for self-study. It teaches you the valuable skills you're going to need on the job. It's kind of like a dual teaching situation because you're, you're learning what you need to know as far as technology. Switches, routers, Microsoft, VMware. Juniper, I mean, I don't care what you're learning. But it also teaches you the skills you need while you're on the job to absorb more information because that, those skills are vital. Those skills are so vital. And also, I think you learn more when you're doing self-study. Uh, when you're just being you know, told information in a classroom setting, I feel like you're just kind of passively learning. But when you're doing self-study, I mean, it's all on you to absorb the information, to find the information. So yeah, you may have a video training course, you're watching Jeremy Chara, or Keith Bogart or Keith Barker, and you're, you're absorbing the information, but you're also encouraged to say, hey, this training material may not be everything you need. You need to go look at the exam topics and find this information on your own. You need to dig deep, Google around, get into forums. And that's what self-study teaches you. Being in IT is not a passive profession. It's, it's a very exciting, dynamic career. And you are always going to be doing something new, always learning something fresh. It's so fun, which is why I love networking. Networking just, it's going through some amazing changes right now. It's really fun to be in networking. Now let's talk about price. Price can vary. And you can, you can find this information out on your own. You can Google it, you can go look at price list. I can tell you right now, I believe, and I, 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 can, I, can, I, got, I can safely say this, I think. Self-study is way cheaper than any of the other options versus classroom versus boot camp. Now, if you're in a program like WGU, you're wanting that degree, it's important for you. CCNA is, is part of the degree program, so that's kind of cool. But you know what they do in the de degree program? Uh, when I was going through WGU, uh, and I, I didn't finish it, by the way, uh, but I did get my Security Plus during that program, and you know what they gave me for training material for, or for classroom material? They gave me CBT Nuggets. They gave me uh, Keith Barker's uh, Security Plus training, which was awesome. And uh, that's what I use to get my, uh, my Security Plus, but that was, that was, that's WGU. So if you are wanting a degree, I would find a program like WGU because they have that self-study, self-paced mentality, which I think is vital for anyone in IT. But price is going to vary vastly between these, but self-study is the cheapest option, I believe. Now, you may be sitting here and don't beat yourself up, but you may be thinking, I am not good at self-study right now. I need someone to sit in front of me Keep me disciplined, keep me accountable, and teach me networking. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. As long as you eventually learn how to develop the skills to teach yourself, that's fine. But you're gonna pay for it. Now, if your company's gonna pay for a boot camp or a classroom, go ahead and do it, man. That's, that's free, just go, go ahead and do it. Um, but if you're like me and you're paying things out of pocket, you need to make sure you're not wasting your money, or you may not just have the money. So whatever money you have, you have to make sure you're spending it wisely. So I know I'm kind of rambling, but to sum it up, uh, self-study, cheapest option. Uh, I think boot camp will probably be your second cheapest option. Um, that can vary because I know a lot of boot camps can be kind of expensive, and depending on if you have to fly to them or things like that. And then classroom, uh, community colleges, they, they may offer a really great deal, and especially if you do like Cisco Net Academy, 
I've never priced it out, so if you guys know, can you please let me know in the comments how much that is, if you've already gone through that, or if you've looked at it, into it yourself. Those, I think it, it could vary, and I think classroom versus um, boot camp, they, they could go back and forth. Now, as far as time, this is gonna solely depend on you. And with self-study, it's really gonna be how much discipline you have, how organized you are, and uh, how much time you have to work with. Because if you were like me, and you had a full-time job, and you had a family, doing that self-study option was difficult, but it taught me so much, and I, I, I dug deep. Now, you may be just, you, you may be unencumbered. You may be coming fresh out of high school, and you've got no obligations. If you are one of those guys who, you know, got good grades, I would say do self-study and knock that sucker out, because time is, is gonna really benefit you here. So self-study, time can really vary. Some guys really just are not good at managing their time so you're going to be spending oodles of time doing it and you know a year passes and suddenly you don't have your your certification i'm going to be honest here this is real time from network chuck i have uh, been working on my ccmp i think for almost three years now just because i let stuff get in the way so as much as i'm a proponent for self-study that's where it's going to kind of the, the dark side of self-study is that it's totally up to you it's on you so you could put it off as long as you want so I got my route, I got my switch, but my T-shoot, I haven't done it yet. Now why, what, why would Network Chuck not complete his certification? There's a lot of reasons, right? I've had opportunities come up where studying something else was more important for me or my job just became really demanding. So you have to factor those things in. So if you were to do a classroom or a boot camp, you're kind of like forced to study. You're forced to learn and those like strict guidelines or strict time frames could be really great for you. So that, that's, that's a real benefit for guys who maybe you're working at a company who's gonna send you to a boot camp or who's gonna send you to a classroom situation and they're gonna allow you to study on the company dime where you couldn't really request time off for self-study. Some, some companies I've heard of that happening for like CCIE candidates, they need like a week off to study, that happens. That's the downside is self-study, you could end up extending it for a long time. <laughs> So just be thinking about that and what kind of person you are. I know this video is kind of all over the place. I just wanted to kind of touch base on, on self-study, why I'm passionate about it. But you know, there's, there's real downsides to it and you really have to be the right type of person to start doing it. I think it's, I think every person should learn how to do it because like I said, being in IT, you're gonna be self-studying all the time for a lot of things. So get used to it. <laughs> Guys, that's about it. Like I mentioned before, there is a giveaway from a prominent uh, IT vendor coming up. So stick around, subscribe, and uh, that'll be coming out soon. I'll also be doing something very cool with the same company. I'll be working directly with them on some cool things. So that's gonna be exciting. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get alerts on uh, new videos coming out from me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, you know, all the social media stuff. And uh, my website, networkchuck.com. I list a ton of resources for you guys starting out. If you're looking for, you know, how to get started with your CCNA or if you need some like Python resources, it's all on there, networkchuck.com. And also all you guys who have been pounding it, grinding it out, getting your certifications and you've passed, congrats. That's amazing. Ride that motivation. Move on to your next cert. Never stop learning. If you're studying right now, keep going. There is a light at the end of that tunnel. Take your time, enjoy the material, learn it, lab it. And just imagine, dream what kind of job you're gonna have. That's what kept me going through my studies and it happened. And I know it's gonna happen for you if you just keep going, you keep grinding it out, you keep staying focused. Uh, it's gonna happen for you guys. If there's any questions you have for me, if you need some like study tips, study help, I've got a ton of other videos talking about this stuff or if you wanna list in the comments and if you wanna ask me anything, I'll respond to them, let me know. Uh, if, you're on, if you're studying for your CCNA or CSENT, ICND1, we have a Facebook study group, link below. Join, we're posting questions, talking every day, so jump in there and take a look. And also, if there's any videos you want me to you know, make or any topics you want me to touch on or anything like that, let me know. Thanks to all of you who have subscribed. And we, if you've noticed, we've hit 10,000 subs. Actually, we're at, we're at 11,000 now, so we're moving on up, and um, it's exciting. So thanks for sticking with me, and um, I got nothing else. I'll talk to you guys next time. Catch you later.